welcome back. So, joining us today, we have Adeline. She got yet another baby makeover, and I freshened her up quite a bit. I was, I was toying with the idea of selling her. And then I put her back together, and once again, I just can't do it. Something about her, but her and Elizabeth, I don't know. They're, she's just, I don't know. Maybe because I named her after my mom <laughs> and my daughter. I don't know, but it's not, it's not just that. It's just, to me, she's beautiful. She's so cute and cuddly and cozy and pretty so she got new eyes let me see if i can zoom in so you guys maybe see her let me set her up here you go Let's see. she has german glass eyes they're like a hazel green color i think you guys can see they're beautiful she likes them. <laughs> and um, she also got new hair. Well, not new hair. I just added more hair because I wanted it to be more poofy. Adeline had painted hair. You can still see it a little bit peeking through, which I actually like that look. So I gave her much poofier hair she got blushing done she got some satin finish what else does she get oh and some of like from the bottom of her hands the little pink parts just retouched a little tiny little bit and i redid her little nails and <laughs> she got her lips redone completely redone i i, I wanted to fix up her lips and I think they look really cute and pink and rosy now. So yeah, so we're gonna change her into this. I'm pretty sure that you guys have seen this outfit before. It's just a little kitty cast by um, child of mine. The cute little ears. Zero to three months because she's a big girl and it comes with these little pants. And these little shoes that no one's ever wore before. They're cute. They look so little, but they fit her really well. And then I we will decide on the headbands. I forgot I wanted to put her the sleeveless onesie. Hmm. You know what? She's going to stay with that. It's cold anyway, right? Yes. It's back to freezing cold here. We got like... A sneak peek of the of springtime for about two days it was actually really warm and it was too good to be true <laughs> I had to turn off the heat and everything for the house of how warm it got and then came nightfall on the second day and I go down and it's like one o'clock in the morning and the house is frozen and I had to turn the heaters back on this weather has been crazy the birds were chirping and everything where are the birds now <laughs> let's see so this little outfit here is really appropriate for where we live right Adeline Cause it's cold. There we go. So how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Ah, oh, sorry, I had to pick her up. There we go. Oh, the pants fit are so nice. They're a little too high. I like when they fit kind of not too big, but not tight on the legs. Well, Elizabeth is the one that gives me a hard time because her legs are super chunky. But I love the way these fit her. 
Okay, let's get this on. So yeah, um, I'm sure if Carmen, if you're watching, <laughs> I am still here alive and well. My peppermints are still in my hair. I have not gotten electrocuted. Let's remove this little hair bowl. She was asking, one of my subscribers, she checks up on me. She's so sweet. She was asking me if my peppermints were okay, if I was messing with the <laughs> electricity due to the, my lights. The lights in my bedroom are still not working, but I'm waiting for my husband to get home. Hopefully within the next few days or so. Because um, I don't mess with that. Being married to the military as I call it, has its ups and downs. And for the family, you spend a lot of time alone with the kids. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, so I was used to it back in the days, you know, because it was constant he would come and go come and go and eventually you get used to it you in the beginning the crying attacks when he would leave out the door were real but then after a while you get used to it it's not that you don't feel sad it's just it's almost like you put a a, a wall to protect you not to feel too too much it's it's been a while since he's been gone so much and like he has these past couple of months and being alone pretty much sucks especially when you're alone in a place like this where like i told you guys before i live on whoville literally oh wow adeline do they even fit oh my god they fit her perfect um, so yeah, I mean, because of where I live, it's very secluded, it's on a mountain, you, you don't have neighbors you see, you don't see people walking, all you see is wildlife walking, although I love my groundhog, she's been here for years, I named her Susie, and she's not scared of me, that groundhog. <laughs> I can do garden work in the back and everything and she'll stand right next to me. Um, but she's about the only one that I like because the raccoon, no, scared it. Oh my God, do I have a raccoon story for you guys. I went, I needed to see if it was snowing. And I decide, oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Did I put the, yeah. I decide that to go to the to the deck out front and it's like two o'clock in the morning because the weather kept saying you know severe weather or whatever whatever snow will begin at 2 38 a.m. so curious minds like me want to know if at 2 38 it's gonna really start snowing so I I don't turn on the deck light I don't know why I did it and I open the door and I'm standing on the deck and the raccoon my nightmare raccoon is standing right next to me oh my god I think about it right now and I and I can screech oh my god did I scream <laughs> I think the raccoon was as scared as I was because this is the deck I'm standing right here and the raccoon is like right here. We both looked at each other and I guess we both froze. And then I just let out the scream and it opened his eyes really big. Oh my God, I thought it was going to jump on me. <laughs> I ran in this house so fast. And I just stand on the door. It was like out of a movie. I'm an idiot. I stand with my back to the door breathing. <gasps> oh my god. The freaking rat. Oh my. I cursed the crap out of that raccoon at myself for going outside 
What made me go at 2.38 a.m. on the to see if there were snowflakes falling at that time? Like, who does that? That's, anybody would say that's what you get. But that thing, you guys don't understand. That thing must be living under my deck because it's everywhere. It comes out every freaking night. And the thing is up to my thigh of how big and fat it is. It's the biggest raccoon I've ever seen in my life. I'm not joking and I'm not exaggerating because I'm used to raccoons and deers and all that stuff to, and the skunks and even snakes and all that stuff that come out, you know, seasonally. What do you have on your hair, Adeline? Um, I just sprayed a little bit of water, but when it comes to that raccoon, I don't know, it's just so freaking big, it's huge, why is it there? Oh, the bow is kind of big, is the same pink, let's try this. It's like a beige, like a cream color, and this, but it's a little off, it's, this is not exactly white, I don't know, no. No, let me see something. <laughs> I like the little bow. What do you guys think? So yeah, so me and my Whoville stories that never end. Say hi everybody, look at me. She looks so cute. Let me zoom out. There we go. I think you guys can see her. So yeah, you guys, I just wanted to jump in here quickly, share a, sm uh, a frightening raccoon story with you guys. Because who else am I going to talk to? Other raccoons? Susie? My groundhog? Anyway. Let me go. Addy looks so pretty and cute and warm. Addy looks adorable and I love this hair. The wild curly hair. And her eyes are beautiful. She's just a beautiful little girl. And I had a passy for her that matched, but for now, she likes to just hold on to this one. So yeah, you guys, let me go. I'm gonna go make myself tea. Hopefully I can sleep tonight. That's another thing, I have not been sleeping, but um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing little Miss Addie here today. And thank you for watching, and as always, the baby's the